backed up in a straight line with Allie Miner on the back. Goes to, Ken to uh, Lamberson, Sydney Lamberson. She'll bring it up. Miner working along the baseline, working towards the right corner. They'll get to the ball in the right corner. 12 seconds to shoot, 11 seconds to shoot. Drives, dishes out. Back to Miner, right wing with a double team. Four seconds, three seconds, lost the ball. Yes, she got it fouled. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Got a double team around the outside. Now she's got to make a free throw. Got through the double team, went down for a little bit of a scoop to try to bring it back up. Somebody got an arm, the ball never came up. The whistle got blown with 2.5 seconds left to go. And Allie Miner fires. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and everybody comes out yes! for a big hug. Absolutely. And Allie Miner. Standing ovation. 16 points on the night. She still has one more coming. Everybody here in Bryant is happy, and they'll go home happy tonight. And Miner has an opportunity to make this 1,001. Timeout goes Swan away with you know, 2.5 seconds I, left to go. I honestly think that's to let some congratulations happen. <laughs> he, played a he played a chess match kind of game yeah, with her, yeah. uh, double and triple team the whole time, and now, you know, the chance to uh, kind of give them a chance to celebrate. So, Allie Miner with 1,000 points. She adds her name to the list of eight. Females, Casey Stevenson in 98. Hannah Schimler, 2014. Kathy Musser, now Kathy Lamberson in 1987. And uh, she will add her name to the bottom of that list with an even 1,000 points. What a great uh, way to get to that mid-season spot and put a big smile on everybody's face here in Bryan, Ohio. Everybody's happy. Big Chet Dangler's got his purple shirt on. It says Alley Miner 1,000 points, and you'll see a lot of those around town, I'm sure. As Miner hits point number 17 on the night. And now we'll exit to a standing ovation here at Bryan High School. Oh, man. She made the two on account, didn't she? Wasn't easy, that's for sure. The inbounds will end the ball game. And we'll put a wrap on this one with the Bears winning 56-43 tonight on the Golden Bears Sports Network. We're going to try to talk with Coach and Allie coming up. Uh, good job. They're recognizing Allie Miner right now. There you go, Allie Miner and Coach Gross Dean. little respect here tonight from the hometown yep. crowd. Yep, nice job there. Now all the pictures being taken on the uh, floor here, right in front of the scorer's table. And the Bears win this one 56 to 43 tonight. But nobody really cares. Right, absolutely. The only thing that matters to most of the folks on the Bryan sideline tonight were the 17 points that were scored by Allie Miner tonight to put her over the 1,000-point mark. And boy, I'll tell you what, what a fun game. We had to uh, wait till 2.5 seconds left <laughs> to go in the ball game, Chris. Absolutely. Before Ali Miner was able to uh, knock down two free throws and put her name on the uh, wall here at Bryant High School forever and ever and ever. Let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll see what we can get with our uh, coach and Allie. <laughs> Congratulations on it. What a milestone, Allie. Yeah, thank you. What, what was it like going into this game knowing you needed 16 points? Um, it kind of put a lot of pressure on me, but a week my teammates helped me out. Um, obviously, at the end, they got me the ball and put me in a situation that I needed to be in, and they got me the points. 
You know, one of the things that I was most impressed with tonight, not only did you have 16, 17 points, you also had double-digit assists. What does that mean to get the ball to your teammates as you're trying to also break a, a record? Going into it, Coach told us that like we couldn't just focus on me, and I knew that too. So I had to give my teammates other shots as well because I knew he always told me if I pass it, I'm going to get it right back. So that helped a lot. And my teammates were knocking shots down, and it just helped a lot. Now you go on that wall over there with some important people, including uh, Coach Lamberson. What did she say to you? Um, before the game, she talked to me, and everything she said helped me so much. Um, she's always been there, and it's been great. Well, congratulations on 1,000 points, Allie Miner. Jim, going to send it back up to you. All right, there, Chris Malenga down on the uh, floor with Allie Miner. And I want to think he's probably going to grab the coach here before everything's done. So we'll uh, we'll go right back to Chris again. Chris is down on the sideline now with the, with Coach Todd Grosjean as we go back down right, the sideline. with side Coach Grosjean. I have no stats or anything, but the one stat, there's two stats to remember. First, 56-43 on the scoreboard. That's the most important because it's a league win. Yeah, and I, we, we talked about that before the game. This was going to happen at some point. It's nice that it happened here in front of her home fans. And and uh, but before the game, we talked about you know what we want to take care of business first, and and to do both, you know, it's pretty special. How do you deal with uh, your team getting motivated for this game, trying to get her the points, but also trying to win a game? Like, wh what was the strategy coming in? Well, we we knew we wanted to get her some touches early to get her confidence, and and again, she kind of struggled to get out of the gate, and missed a few shots inside that normally she makes and and the kids kept getting her the ball and, and you know she got to the free throw line which was huge I, you know she can get her confidence back there at the free throw line but uh, you know we hung in there I thought our, our other kids did a great job you know handling the the whole situation other than running on the floor there at the end <laughs> you know that's normally a technical but uh, this doesn't happen very often you look up there at that board and what there's there's eight names she'll be the eighth name but then four females yeah three girls and now four and and it takes a lot of a lot of time. She spends a you know a, a ton of time in the gym, and um, you know as a freshman she got thrown to the wolves just you know because they by necessity and you know she went they went through some lean times her freshman year and and we got her as a sophomore and, and she's gotten st progressively better each year and, and hopefully she's going to play at the next level. But she gets the opponent's best defender every and you see two and three defenders right and they just keep fresh bodies on her and and I was proud of her tonight because she stuck with it and found a way to get to the foul line and, and get the get that number. One of the interesting things to me was how many assists she had. Now I don't have exact numbers but I gotta believe if she wasn't in double figures with assists she was darn close. Well you know what's neat you look in the Defiance Crescent at all the stat leaders for the area and she's in the leaders in assists and steals and she finds other ways to contribute. I don't know how many rebounds she had tonight but she had to have a ton of rebounds too when we needed them especially Especially. She doesn't get a lot of breaks, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a neat accomplishment. We had our little girls here tonight and went over to the group of little girls there a second ago and asked who was going to be next. And, of course, they all had their hand up, which is cool that, you know, that was, that was tonight as well. Our little kids got to see it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, let's talk about this being a league victory. You know, now you're 3-0 and in the league uh, right up there. Uh, you know, it's, it's early on in the season, but uh, you got to feel good at this point. Well, you know, we've won. We've taken care of home court so far we got to go on the road next week to Lassian. I don't care what their record is Ashley Oyer will have a great game plan for us they always play us hard and uh, we got to be ready we go to Bowling Green on Saturday you know that'll be a test NLL school that uh, you know will battle us as well so we're gonna take them one at a time right now Chris and enjoy this because this is pretty special absolutely and to have your assistant coach uh, JV coach up there on the board as well that's kind of kind of unique situation I don't know if Allie would admit this, but I think Kat, Coach Musser, Coach Lamberson's name is the next one she's eyeballing. So. There you go. Well, she needs, uh, let's see, she needs uh, 50 points. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, she stays healthy, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we got somebody down the road that wants to set a goal like she did and, and uh, achieve it. All right, Coach Grosjean, congratulations. All right, send it back up to Jim. Coach uh, Todd Grosjean and uh, Chris Malinga down there on the floor we're talking about Ali Miner tonight, who does get her 1,000 points. In fact, she uh, goes for 17 tonight, so she now at a 1,001 points as uh, she wraps up a, a career goal. And
and she still has basically half of a season ahead of her, so she does have an opportunity to maybe get up over that 1,000, uh, that 1,050 mark here yet and uh, move up that list here of all-time scorers here on the uh, in Bryant High School. So Chris Malinga back up. We're going to look at a few stats, and we'll uh, move ourselves into uh, – the post-game show here. What a what a great ball game, and I'll tell you what, it took her all the way down to 2.5 seconds left to go, Chris. Yeah. Uh, but that drive and that scoop and the foul on the arm gives her an opportunity to go to the free throw line. She'd been a little shaky early in the ball yep. game trying to shoot that uh, that, that free throw, uh, only hitting 50% of those uh, shots early on. But I think she hit her last four, and those last two were the big ones. And I'll tell you what, it, it did show the kind of ice water that she's got in her veins. When you stand there on the line, you know you've got 2.5 left to go. Yep. You make one and you're, you're there, you miss them both and you're going home and have to think about it uh, for the entire uh, night and all day tomorrow and wait until Saturday yep. to correct it, yep. you know? You know, uh, just uh, what, a, what a performance. Uh, she fought a double and triple team, yep. as Coach Grosjean said down there. Sorry, I'm catching my breath still. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, you know, but she was able to do that. She, I'm sure she had double-digit assists. I'm pretty positive she was close to a triple-double with the rebounds as well. But let's take a look at it. It wasn't particularly pretty for Brian. No, not at all. <laughs> but they got it done. That's yeah, the they important did. part. They did. Uh, they've shot 37% from the field, 15 of 41 as a team. They were 35% from the two-point land. 42% three of seven from three, and they were 72% from the foul line, 23 of 32. They had 19 total rebounds, three steals, 12 turnovers. Taking a look at the individual statistics, three players in double figures for the Golden Bears. Allie Miner had 17 points. She was four of 15 from the field. She was three of 14 from two, one of one from three, and eight of 11 from the foul line. Um, and uh, Kennedy Lamberson was 16 points. Three of eight from the field. She was two of six from two, one of two from three, nine of 12 from the line. Sydney Lamberson had 13 points, four of seven from the field, um, and five of six from the line for 84%. Kelly Miller had five points. She was two of six from the field, one of four from three. McKendry Seamer had three points. She was one of three from the field and one of three from the foul line. McKenna Group, two points. She was one of one from the field. Uh, so there you have it for the Bryan Lady Bears. Taking a look at the team statistics for uh, Swanton. Um, they were led by Haley Nelson, who was 11 points, 5 of 11 from the field, uh, 1 of 2 from behind the arc. Avery Lutz had uh, 10 points, 5 of 7 from the field, 0 of 1 from 3, 0 of 1 from the line. Erica Lutz had 9 points. She was 3 of 9 from the field, 1 of 2 from the uh, three-point arc, 2 of 3 from the line. Sydney Taylor, seven points, two of five from the field, and one of two from the three-point arc, two of two from the line. Allie Hendricks had two points, or, or excuse me, four points. She was two of five from the field. Kristen Trucor had two points. Those both came on foul shots. As a team, Swanton actually shot better than Bryan. They were 17 of 41 for 41 and a half percent. They were 14 of 31 for 45 percent from two, three of 10 for 30 percent from three, six of eight from the uh, foul line for 75 percent. They had uh, 23 total rebounds, 12 offensive, 11 defensive, and they had 14 turnovers. Wow. What a ball game tonight. It was a good ball game here tonight. And, Brian, again, it, as the second half wore on, the uh, the Bears had it relatively in control uh, for most of the game. The only thing that was suspenseful as we worked our way down towards that final buzzer was how many points was Allie going to end up with tonight. And everybody in this gym waiting and waiting and waiting. And, uh, man, I, I guess like a, uh, a true star, you yeah. know, she kept it right down to the last 2.5 seconds. If she wants a, a job down the road, maybe in uh, television, yep. uh, you know, in in some of the suspense TV that's yep. out there. Absolutely. Uh, you know, she could, she could definitely uh, play right into that game because she did a wonderful job tonight to keep us all on the edge of our seats right to the end of the ball game. Big thank you tonight to all of our sponsors, Brian Ford, Lincoln, Krill Funeral Services, Darrow Jerky Ford, Oberlin Turnbull uh, Funeral Home and Crematory, Northwest State Community College, the Bryan Athletic Boosters, Bryan Municipal Utilities and their high-speed internet and cable, and a big thank you to Eric and his crew tonight for uh, being able to twist all the knobs and uh, work all the dials down in the uh, trailer this evening to bring all this to you here, not only on BMU TV, BryanSports.com and the Q96.5 FM. Also, a big thank you to Main Stops, our scoreboard uh, 
uh, host here tonight. And uh, don't forget, every Thursday between now and the end of February is a thirsty Thursday. I'm 79 thirsty. cents for any uh, soft drink from the fountain or coffee or cappuccino. Go get you a big old yeah, fountain. I uh, think that I'm going to do, do definitely tonight. do that. 79 cents, get the big one at uh, Main Stops every Thursday between now and the end of uh, February. Also, uh, a big thank you to American Family Insurance, Ameramade Realty, Fair Auto Repair, Newcomer Schaefer, Spangler, and Brininger, Stark Heating and Cooling, Thiel Supply, and Lamberson Packaging Solutions, Chris. And uh, a good ball game and a great way to end everything. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, what a great game. Uh, great milestone to hit tonight. Uh, the name going on the board. She's going to be the eighth person to do it, the fourth female. And now, as Coach Grosstein said, I don't know if you caught that or not, but she's she's targeting her coach. There you go. She needs 51 more points to tie her coach. So She had to be able to get that before the year's over. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. Well, that's good. We're going to wrap it up, I guess, here from Bryan yep. uh, High School. That'll do it. I'm uh, Jim Funderburg. We thank you to our crew tonight uh, and our, my buddy Chris Malenga for helping me get through this whole thing. Chris, why don't you get us out of here? All right. Don't forget, this is a production of Bryan Municipal Utilities and the Board of Public Affairs. Any use of this uh, broadcast without the express written consent of the Board of Public Affairs is not allowed. I uh, want to thank our crew, Jonathan and Will, Eric and KB, and for Jim Funderburg, I am Chris Malenga. One final time here from Bryan. It was the Bryan Lady Bears 56, the Swanton Bulldogs 43. Have a good night, everybody, on the Golden Bear Sports Network.